got it. She's giving me the thumbs up. She gave me one finger. I'm not, I hope it was the thumb. I don't know. I think it was the thumb. I don't know. <laughs> you can talk. It's okay. We're not we're not not streaming yet. We're streaming, but we're not recording, so just don't curse. We're on we're on all platforms. Ready to go? Okay. Click the uh, little clock there and we'll get ready to go. Ready? 24 minutes. Hey, folks, Dr. Joe Esposito here. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, listen, last week uh, we did a show and we talked about end-of-year health tips. And we had so many we couldn't cover them all in uh, one show, so I want to cover it today. So this is just going to be little little uh, tidbits that you can utilize. It's not all about nutrition. It's about lifestyle. It's about your cell phone, all things that you can use to get well and stay well. Now, here's the thing with when I do shows like this or any show I do. You don't have to do everything I say if you're not ready for it. I understand that these changes that I ask you to do uh, can be pretty powerful. And so some of you are like, well, I can't do everything at once. That's okay. Do a little bit. Take a baby step. You'll see the results, and then you'll say, ooh, I can do that. What if I do this? What if I do this? And eventually you'll get to the point where you, you look back and go, oh, my gosh, I totally changed my life. So don't freak out if you don't want to do everything or you don't think you can. You can, by the way. Just so you know, you can do it all. Uh, but if you choose not to, that's okay. We're just going to introduce you to this world and say, oh, this is what health is all about. This is what it's like to be healthy. And once you come into this world, it's really hard to come out because you sleep better. You, you go to the bathroom better. Your love life improves. Your energy level improves. Uh, you save money on food. You lose weight. You go to the bathroom better. I mean, everything changes for the better when you venture into this world. And you think, why did I do, why did I do this my whole life? Biggest regret I hear from patients, why didn't I do this sooner? Why didn't I take your advice earlier? I have patients still coming to me, uh, still coming in, I should say. Dr. Joe, I heard you lecture 35 years ago. I heard what you said. I didn't do it. Then I heard you lecture again. Then I heard, then you made it to radio. Then you made it to television. Then you made it to Dr. Osh show. And you on and on and on. And they finally say, oh my gosh, it makes sense. So it may take time to, 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 to beat some sense into you, metaphorically speaking. So. One of the tips I want to start with today is I want to, you to minimize your electromagnetic frequency exposure. Now, what the heck is electromagnetic frequency? EMFs, these include AC, electric fields from housing wire, corded appliances, magnetic fields from power lines, uh, wiring errors, radio frequencies, smartphones, cell phones, Wi-Fi. It's the electric waves that fly through the air. And these things have been linked to a wide variety of health issues. Excessive oxidative stress. What that is is... Um, your body produces or the environment produces something called free radicals. Now, free radicals are molecules. They're like Pac-Man. They eat through things. Waka, 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 waka. And they're eating through things, and they're damaging your DNA. They're damaging your cells. They're damaging your cartilage. They're damaging your connective tissue. And they speed up the aging process, uh, facilitate disease process. And these things are uh, like x-rays. They're changing the molecular structure of the body. And it kind of makes me laugh because I have a weird sense of humor. No, it makes me laugh because people say, well, Dr. Joe, I know you want to take x-rays for chiropractic care, for orthopedic care, whatever it's going to be. Uh, I'm worried about x-rays. And yet they have their cell phone right in their front pocket, right next to their genitals. Well, guess what, guys? Over time, that cell phone is going to cause a heck of a lot more damage than a simple x-ray is going to cause. So again, you're, you're being penny wise and dollar foolish, or is the other way around. Um, you're just not thinking smart. Because, yeah, x-rays create some free radicals and some oxidative stress, but the amount is so low compared to what you're being exposed to every day. How about flying an airplane? You're above the clouds, you're, you're, so uh, space radiation is not being filtered out, and you're getting zapped with radiation every time you're on an airplane. So I'm not saying radiation is good. I'm saying you got to think about where else you're getting your radiation from. It can alter cell function due to excessive charge. It can act, it, it, the body's an electrical field. And this puts electrical fields into the electrical field. It can open up what's called your blood-brain barrier. Now, what the heck is that? Certain things can pass through your blood vessels into your brain, like some vitamins, minerals, nutrients, some drugs. The key to drugs, really what they're working with you know, many times, especially for brain drugs, is that it has to be able to permeate the blood-brain barrier. It also keeps out bad things. And if you expose yourself to a lot of electromagnetic frequency, it can open up that blood-brain barrier and let bad things into your brain. Uh, it can uh, alter your mi microbiome. That's the bacteria in your body. 
So electromagnetic frequency is a big issue. It can, it, it's linked to, not causing, but linked to cancer, neurological dysfunction, anxiety, depression, autism, Alzheimer's, potential uh, excessive EMF frequencies. Uh, all of these hazards are likely to get worse now that it was switching to G5. G5 is way more powerful. And if you'll notice, they used to be cell towers. And I always said, don't live near a cell tower. I knew a girl one time, and she wanted to get a, a, a place to live. And she said to me, she says, I want you to come and look at this place because there's a cell tower pretty close. And sure enough, it was right, like almost in her backyard. And I said, you can do what you want. I wouldn't recommend doing it because that's a lot of electromagnetic frequency. And she didn't do it, which was good. I was very happy for that. Now, the G5, they don't, they're not going away from cell towers. They're putting these transformers or re relay stations, whatever it is, on buildings. And it's just bouncing off buildings now. And so the G5, switching to the G5, is going to really increase our electromagnetic frequency. Some studies say it causes no damage. Some studies say it does. Let's assume that it doesn't. Wouldn't that be great? What if it's wrong? If it's wrong, you're in deep doo-doo. And so you got to start thinking about this. I always say err on the side of caution until proven. And right now, what I'm reading, the research I'm doing, it's leaning toward causing damage. So how do we reduce that? Connect your desktop computer to the Internet uh, w wired instead of being Wi-Fi. And that's a much better choice. Uh, you can put your desktop on airplane mode, too. So if there is Wi-Fi around, it, would, it wouldn't absorb it. Uh, you want to, if you can, avoid things like wireless keyboard, trackballs, mice, game, uh, game systems, uh, wireless printers, house phones. Those, you know, wireless house phones can send messages through the body. Wired is always a better choice. If you have Wi-Fi, and I'm assuming you do, I want you to shut it off at night. So what I do is I, I have a timer, actually, and it's an old timer, uh, not old timer, but it's a timer you get at, uh, let's say, Walmart or something for Christmas trees. You know, he turns on the lights, turns off the lights. Yeah, 10 bucks, 12 bucks, and you just set it. Shuts it off at 10 o'clock, turns it back on at whatever, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock. Uh, you can also unplug it. I know my router is really easy to get to, so I just unplug it if I go to bed. And let's assume it does nothing. So what? You disconnected it. It reconnected itself automatically. It's good to reboot your, your uh, router all the time anyway. No downside. Upside is, if I'm right, which I probably am, you're going to save yourself, hopefully, a lot of heartache and uh, diseases that can set up in the body. If you have a cell phone in your bedroom, I want you to take the cell phone and put it far away from you in the room, uh, you know, at least three feet away. But I have it on the other side of my bed, on the other side of my room. And so my, my alarm goes off. I have to get out of bed to shut it off, which is fine with me. I, don't, I get up anyway. Um, but it's far away from your body. And again, I just take it off Wi-Fi at night and put it on, you know, the, the whatever I, you know, I'm using my minutes, so to speak. But I have unlimited minutes anyway, so what's the difference? If you have a microwave oven, be careful. I have a microwave. It's in my pantry, small one. The only time I ever use it is when I take my sponge from my sink, wet, put it in the microwave, make sure the sponge doesn't have any metal in it, and turn it on because the, ra the radiation will kill the virus, your germs, bacteria in your sponge. That's how powerful it is. It's altering the, cellular, the cell walls of the virus, your germs, and bacteria. It does the same thing to you. So if I do it, I put it on for you know, two minutes, make sure it's wet. I turn it on. I walk out of the room. I walk into the other part of the house. And when it's done, I just take it out, and I'm done. Uh, if you have to heat up a towel or something like that, something wet, um, you can wet a towel, put it in the microwave. But again, walk away. Don't stand there with your genitals facing the microwave. Oh, I'm getting fried. These little things make big differences when it comes to your health. Do that. If you have an induction stovetop, I don't like them. They send off electromagnetic frequencies. Uh, microwave ovens are the largest EMF uh, polluters in your home. The induction stovetop is number two. So I like gas stoves. Um, so if I have a, I'd rather use a gas stove, in which I, I'd rather cook on it anyway. But that's what I have too. And I, I was make, made sure that I had the gas stove way, way back when I bought the house. And I w if I remodel, I w always want to make sure I put a gas stove in. Uh, it's a much better choice. If you have a wireless baby monitor, guess what? Those electromagnetic frequencies can be zapping the baby. Now, is it going to happen? I don't know. But the research is that it looks like it is. So get a wired monitor or put the baby closer to you and don't use a monitor. Uh, that's a much better choice. 
And as far as the cell phone goes, this is the, the big one because everybody's with their cell phone constantly. Don't put it next to your genitals, men and women. Don't put it in your front pocket. If I have to carry it, if I have cargo pants on, I put it in my leg pocket. And if I have to carry it without, I put it in my back pocket. And then I take it out as soon as I possibly can. I get in a car, I take it out. At home, I take it out. So I only use it if I have to walk around with it for some reason. But the cell phone's a big issue. And don't put it in your bra. I was going to say ladies, but I can't even say that anymore. Um, don't put it in your bra because of the electromagnetic frequencies can affect breast tissue. Are they going to do it? I don't know. Is it Aaron a side of caution? Absolutely yes. And as far as talking on your phone, get a wired headset. In fact, I can't find mine. I think I lost it in my car somewhere. I just Last night I was looking for it. But when I'm on a phone in the car, I'm either on a speaker or a wired headset. Don't talk uh, uh, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi things. That sends electromagnetic frequencies right into the brain. And if you ever read the little packet that comes with your cell phone, there's an instruction manual in there. And it will tell you right in there. The cell phone company is telling you, do not put this next to your head. It says it right there. Hold it about two inches away from your head at least. Don't touch your head with the phone. And yet all of us are walking around touching our head to the phone. So wired headset is the best choice or, uh, you know, uh, just a speaker. And I use the speaker if I don't have my wired headset with me. Um, but don't put it next to your head. And it's not me telling you that. It's actually the manufacturers who have tested these things and know that the electromagnetic frequencies can affect brain. So, it's again, I'm Dr. Joe Esposito. If you're just tuning in, we're talking about health tips uh, for the new year. Uh, nonstick cookware. This is a big issue because you're taking heat and you're heating up toxic chemicals and they're releasing right into your food. Same thing with your car. If you ever notice in your car, some cars, uh, the inside of your uh, windshield gets dirty, foggy, and you got to wash it. Why is it getting foggy? Why is it getting dirty? You're in a car. Maybe you got your windows rolled up. you got your air conditioner on. The uh, dashboard is actually evaporating. And those toxic chemicals, you can see it building up on the inside of the, da on inside of the windshield. So we have to be careful about nonstick cookware because, again, when it heats up, it releases these toxic chemicals. So there's two primary sources of indoor air pollution. Uh, it's the materials that you use to construct a house with, including old furniture, uh, fireproofing, sprays that you can put on your things to make it uh, uh, stain-proof, and chemicals produced um, by your cookware. Now, one uh, ignored daily exposure, of course, is the non-toxic cookware, uh, because it can create chemicals that are, are dangerous. And a whopping 98% of Americans have PFAs, they're called, polyfluoroalkyls, uh, in their blood system. And that's attesting to the pervasiveness of these chemicals. They're everywhere. So in studies, 98% of us have these chemicals in our body. Uh, these PFAs are linked to serious conditions, including thyroid disease, organ damage, cancer, infertility. Healthier options, ceramic, enameled cast iron cookware, uh, I have a cast iron pot I've had for years, and I, once I got into using it, oh, my God, it's amazing. It's heavy. Uh, I just keep it in my oven. You know, I, I store it in the oven, so it's easy to, easy to get in and out. Uh, once you season it, you put something like coconut oil on it, and you put it in the oven for about 45 minutes at about 250 degrees, the, the uh, cast iron becomes seasoned, it's called, and then it becomes nonstick. And it's more nonstick than most nonstick cookware. And the nice part is you don't wash it when you're done. Wipe it out. Okay, get a paper towel, wipe it out because it's nonstick. Wipe out whatever is left in there, crumbs or anything like that, and it's ready for the next use. The more you use it, the better it gets, the more nonstick it becomes. If you're going to buy uh, cast iron, though, make sure it's from the United States because if it's cast iron from another country, sometimes they might have chemicals or uh, additives to it. It may not be the, um, the best thing for you. So these polyfluoroalkalines, uh, these PFAs, are linked to a lot of different things. Uh, so all you have to do is not expose yourself to them. So you could use glass, you could use ceramic that's made in the United States, cast iron cookware made in the United States. So there's plenty of things you can do aside from the nonstick. And here's the thing with the nonstick. If you've ever used nonstick, and I have, they don't always nonstick. After a while, they don't, they're not nonstick anymore. Cast iron becomes more nonstick. The nonsticks become less. And I thought I was doing something wrong years and years ago. I remember I bought top-of-the-line nonstick cookware, supposed to be, you know, chemical-free. And over time, it didn't work anymore. So I read the directions, and I had to season it, apparently. I had to put oil in it and bake it to get the oil into the nonstick. And eventually, it's going to wear out. Cast iron never wears out. 
So cast iron made in America a much better choice uh, for you to cook in, which is pretty cool. So items pre-treated with stain repellents, don't use those. Carpets, uh, furniture. I don't have any carpets in my house. I have hardwood and tile throughout my entire house because carpets are just a breeding ground for toxins. And if you put a new carpet in, you have that new carpet smell, that's called outgassing. And that outgassing is toxic chemicals. And you're inhaling, going, oh, I love that new house smell. Those are toxic chemicals. And so hardwood is better. If you're going to use hardwood, make sure it's pre-treated. Don't put it down and then treat it because it can, then the stain or whatever you put on it can outgas for about three to six months as well. So pre-treated hardwood or tile is really going to be your best bet. Uh, that's what I have throughout my entire house. It's so easy to clean. Oh, my God. Um, I have uh, robot vacuums. I have a shark and a Roomba, and I love them. They are like the greatest invention. That and automatic garage door openers and pre-chopped garlic. Those are the three great inventions of my time. And I love the automatic vacuums because they, you just turn them on, walk out, come home, dump the dirt out, you're done. You can vacuum literally every day. The only downside is they don't quite get exactly into the corners. So every couple of months, I just get a broom, go around, sweep all the corners out, and I run the vacuum again. Still a heck of a lot easier than running a vacuum, and it keeps the house so clean. I just love them. So I'm a, I have no connection to them. I just think they're great. Uh, I have two of them. That's how much I like them. And so that's a good thing. If you have carpets, you can use them, but constantly be vacuuming, constantly be cleaning to avoid those toxic chemicals because dust can settle on furniture. Dust can settle on uh, surfaces that are outgassing. The dust then absorbs these chemicals. The dust gets in the air. You inhale it. It gets into your lung. Now, are these things going to kill you tomorrow? No. But these are health hacks that I want you to start incorporating or health tips to add, to, to stack these health tips, eating right, keeping the house clean, uh, the proper soaps to use, the proper uh, da- shampoos to use, all these things stacked together create a wellness plan. Most people have insurance plans, but they don't have a health plan. And they call it a health plan, but it's not. A health plan is, okay, what am I going to do step by step to get healthy? And that's a health plan. Somebody to pay for uh, your bills or not pay for your bills in many cases, say they will and they won't. A little cynical dig on insurance companies, isn't it? So oftentimes, uh, you have an insurance plan, but you don't have a health plan. A health plan is exactly what I teach you, and I've been teaching you now for almost 40 years. How to eat, how to live, how to keep your spine healthy, how to keep your nervous system working, how to stay young, how to avoid wrinkles, how to keep the digestive system working. That's a health plan. So if you have a health issue, if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, digestive issues, nutrition concerns, my team of doctors and I want to be your doctors. We want to help get you well and keep you well. Now, the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb, and we would love the opportunity to sit down with you, discuss your health concerns, to determine exactly what you need to do and what direction would be the best for you in our opinion. So if you want to make an appointment to come see us, you can go right to my website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com, and we would love the opportunity to sit down with you. Now, normally the first visit is $910. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment, going over the x-rays, complete nutrition evaluation. That's worth a lot of money. We've reduced that for my listeners to $299. So there's no reason why you shouldn't make that appointment. And the treatment beyond that is very affordable. In fact, chiropractic is the most effective, least expensive treatment for back pain. I can have many times a whole year of treatment in our office is less than you're going to pay in co-pays and deductibles in another place and maybe get a couple of days worth of treatment. So there's no reason why you shouldn't be making appointments. So go to drjoe.com, drjoe.com, book an appointment right now. We accept almost all ins- anyone. We accept anyone. If your insurance company covers us is the question. We accept them. Do they accept us? And I'm happy to, we ha- my team is happy to call your insurance company, verify your insurance for you. We accept Medicare, and better. I mean, we're on almost all the major plans. Um, and even if you don't have insurance, that's okay. We have the cash plans available. Uh, many of them are 18 months, no interest rates. We have a, a company that we use called a Care Credit. So we've done everything we can to make it so that you can be a patient. So if you're sick and tired of being su- sick and tired, you're ready to get well, drjoe.com. Neck pain, back pain, car accidents, sports injuries. Here's the thing with car accidents. If you're ever in a car accident, if the car is damaged, you're damaged. I've never seen it any other way. So if you're in an accident, please call us immediately. Don't fall for scammers that'll call you up and say, oh, this is your insurance company. Go see Dr. Joe. Go see Attorney Phil. Those are lies. No one will ever call you to set you up an appointment. They're scammers. They need to go to jail. 
and don't fall for it because you're not going to get the care you need and you're going to get scammed out of a lot of money. I've never seen it any other way. So drjoe.com, we'd love to be your doctors. We're talking today about uh, things you can do for the new year, things to stay healthy. Uh, and we talked about pre-treated and stain repellents. You want to stay away from things like that. Uh, water and or stain repelling clothing. Uh, Tip-off is when the item is made with artificial fabrics and described as breathable. These are uh, typically treated with chemicals, and that can become pretty toxic. Items treated with flame retardant chemicals. That would be uh, uh, wo uh, uh, pillows, mattresses, couches, flame retardant chemicals. When you sit on them, they release the chemicals into the air, and you breathe them. Here's one you never thought of. Fast food carry-out packages. Now, years ago, I worked for a, a major a pizza firm. I was delivered pizza. I was just graduated school. I was in practice, and I was trying to build my practice, and I worked at this pizza place at night. So a patient during the day worked at night. And one of my biggest fears was I would deliver pizza to a patient because I was a doctor. And I always said I was the most educated pizza deliverer in all of Georgia. But back then, pizza would stick to the box. If you remember those days, it would stick to the cardboard. Well, they've created these new chemical spray-ons that you can put on these cardboards to make it non-stick. So if the pizza does touch the box, it doesn't stick as much. Well, those chemicals are pretty toxic. So it goes for uh, wraps. Okay, if you remember years and years ago, if you got a sandwich or a burger wrapped in something, it would stick to the paper. Now it doesn't. Why? Because it's an it's a anti-stick chemical. Those anti-sticking chemicals are very toxic to the body. So be careful with that. Uh, styrofoam. You go to a restaurant, you get food that's left over, they put it in a styrofoam container. If it's hot, that styrofoam is actually releasing a lot of chemicals. That goes for styrofoam cups, too, for coffees and teas. Don't use them. The styrofoam can be toxic. So if you do have to go food and they put it in a styrofoam container, get it home and get it out of the container as quickly as you can. I'm a realist. I understand these things happen in the real world, but try to avoid them if you can. Microwave popcorn. It's stick, it's the, the lining of those little packages are nonstick. Those are toxic chemicals. So if you use the old-fashioned stovetop popcorn method, that's a better choice. Uh, we talked last week about uh, coconut oil being the best oil to cook in, and then avocado and uh, olive are the next best to cook in. And you never want to cook with things like uh, corn, corn oil, uh, uh, cottonseed oil, soybean oil, Mixed vegetable oils, those are really toxic. When you heat them, they become way worse. They release what's called omega-6 fatty acids, which are really dangerous to the body. And we always talk about how bad sugar is. Very few people talk about how bad these toxic oils are. And in fact, I think they're worse than the sugar. So please stay away from those processed oils if you can. Uh, you can get an air popper, too. That's really the best way to do it, just air pop. Air pop, spray on some, uh, like, tamari, which is a really high-end soy sauce that doesn't have monosodium glutamate in it. Spray that on if you want to. Put some seasoning on top of that and eat it that way. That's the better choice to do it. So nonstick cookware, uh, 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 utensils, kitchen utensils that are nonstick can also be very dangerous too. Um, so be careful with these things because you're using them every day, you're using them around heat. It's releasing the chemicals into the air, and you're eating them. So far, I've got a lot more to cover. If you have any questions, send them to me through the website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. I'm happy to answer any of your health questions. And we come back and talk about some supplements, things that you want to add to your routine to really enhance your life dramatically in a very uh, cost-effective way of doing it. Uh, follow us on social media at Dr. Joe Esposito. And if you haven't signed up for our newsletter, go to our website, drjoe.com. Scroll down about three-quarters of the way, and it says sign up for our newsletter. I think it says it on every page, too. And we send out specials for supplements. We have sometimes uh, pop-up podcasts that are just for our newsletter people. We treat our newsletter people really special. And it's free. And if you don't like it, unsubscribe. I'm not keeping it. No, wait, no, you have to stay with us. But I think you really want to do that. So, again, the website, drjoe.com. If you're a podcast junkie, just go to your podcast service and type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it. And we have hundreds of hours there. Or the website, drjoe.com, has over 3,000 hours of podcasts. I'm Dr. Joe Esposito, drjoe.com. We'll be right back. Boom. Questions? Yes. So do you have a list of what you can eat and slash can't eat? Yeah. Go to our website, drjoe.com. Type in these words, seven deadly sins of nutrition in the search bar. 
It's a lecture I did out in California several years ago, and we talk about the seven foods you want to avoid, and we break down even further there. So seven deadly sins in nutrition. Then after you listen to that, type in the search bar, so what can I eat? And there we did a lecture on the foods you can eat. So it's all there for you. Very, very simple. It's about an hour each one, less than that, probably 40 minutes. And those two podcasts, lectures are going to change your life. It's very clear, very simple. Couldn't make it easier for you. So, What else? Do you think that tamarind is healthy? Tamarind. I, it's, it's okay. I don't know anything bad about it. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm fine with it. Mm-hmm. It's an odd one. I never heard that one before. So. Assuming. And what vacuums would you recommend? I love my uh, robot vacuums personally because they're so easy and they're so quick. So I have a shark and a Roomba. Um, they're so easy and so ridiculous that I, 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 it's, I'm thrilled. I, don't, I have a vacuum, I think, somewhere. I haven't used it in probably a decade or two. Ever since, well, probably a decade since I got the robot vacuums. But uh, I just love them because of the ease. Because otherwise, you go, ah, i got to break out the vacuum. i got a cord. I, 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 these things are why, you know, they charge themselves up. You push the button. They go out and clean. You dump out the dirt. They, you have now, now they clean their own dirt out. So that would be pretty cool. So those are the ones I, I love them. I can't imagine why not. I mean, yeah, there's HEPA filters and everything else. But if you vacuum on a regular basis, you're not going to throw so much dirt into the air. All well, at once, it's going to be a lot easier. So. And get rid of carpets if you can, please. If you have throw carpets that are washable, they have washable throw carpets now or, you know, area carpets, throw them in the washing machine. Wash them every couple of weeks. Awesome. What else? Anything else? No, that's all. Okay. That's easy enough. All right. Ready to keep rocking? All right. Reset my clock for me because I'm not too smart. I got to watch the clock. Uh, Ready? Hey, folks. Dr. Joe Esposito here. I am happy that you're with us today. What we're talking about today are uh, health tips for the new year. Now, I said earlier, in case you're just joining us, I said earlier that I'm, I throw a lot of things out at you. I talk about what to eat, what not to eat, how to take care of your spine, how to take care of your digestive system, supplements, uh, foods, restaurants, uh, lifestyle. We talked earlier about vacuums. I throw a lot out at you, and I get that. So you don't have to do it all at once. But that's why it's so important to listen to these shows over and over and over again. Because each time you listen, you're going to pick up another tip. On my desk, in my office, I have sticky notes. On my car, I have sticky notes. In my house, I have sticky notes. I'm a sticky note guy. So I put in my my phone or something like that, I forget to look. If it's right in front of me, every day I'm looking at it. So what I do is I look at it, and I say, okay, what am I ready to do today? And I'll say, all right, you know, today I need to, I don't know, call Allison. I have to, uh, you know, I don't know, talk about that company. We're formulating a new supplement. I have to make sure these new patients... Uh, were given their nutrition evaluations, whatever it is. And then I take the sticky note and I throw it away, and I love that. That's something that gives me a thrill is throwing away sticky notes. But that's how I keep tabs on things. So as you're listening to these shows, you might write down, oh, my gosh, you know, get rid of carpets or uh, stay, put my cell phone in my back pocket or get a cast iron pot, that's what we talked about so far today, or eat more fruits and vegetables, stay away from meats and dairy products, take Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source, the minimum supplements everybody should take every day. And when you look at it all, you can say, okay, what am I willing to do today? You know what? Starting this week, I'm going to give up artificial sweeteners. Step number one, I'm going to give up artificial sweeteners. This is you talking now. And you do it. And then artificial sweeteners out of your life. Okay, what else What else can I do, Dr. Joe? You know what? I'm going to have only have meat three days a week instead of seven days a week. All right, I did that. Great. That's my new lifestyle. And so it's okay to just check things off the list to get well and stay well. But there's a lot to do. And so don't feel overwhelmed. I, already, I had a patient one time years ago come in and say, Dr. Joe, I've been meaning to come see you forever because I have neck pain, back pain, sciatica, digestive issues. But I was afraid you were going to tell me that I couldn't drink coffee anymore, so I wouldn't come see you. And I said, I can't make you do anything. I can tell you why to do things and not do things, but your decision is up to you. We'll see you regardless of what you do. You know, we don't say, oh, I'm only going to treat people that don't drink coffee. I'm only going to treat vegans. We're only going to treat, uh, I don't know, seven-day Adventists. No, we treat everybody. You can then decide what you want to do. And that's the whole thing is I want to live by example. I want you to say, okay, I've seen you do it. I've seen thousands of other people do what you say, Dr. Joe. You've seen the results. The results are uh, unquestionable. can't argue with them. Uh, okay, great. I'm willing to do some of this. But I'm not ready yet. 
that's fine. Let's just do chiropractic work with you. Let's just work on your stomach. Let's just get at least get you on supplements. Folks, you're not willing to do anything else. At least get on Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. They're two powders. They taste great. Uh, I take a scoop of each, mix it with some coconut milk or almond milk, shake it up, have that every morning. I add five drops of vitamin D to mine as well, uh, especially in the winter. In the summer, if I'm out, I don't take vitamin D. But if I'm not out for a day or two, I take my vitamin D. Vitamin D is so important. I, it's, I, like I said, supplements are the cheapest insurance policy you'll ever buy. You're spending hundreds and thousands of dollars on insurance that doesn't cover squat, argues with you if you go to the doctor, makes you pay a copay, makes you pay a deductible, and yet supplements are pennies a day. And I don't understand why people don't do it. It makes no sense to me. So all our supplements on our website, drjoe.com, drjoe.com. Now, the Super Greens has three flavors. There's plain, there's mint, and there's hemp. I like the mint because it's a little sweeter. Some people don't like mint, so then they'll do the hemp or the plain. The hemp has a little oaty flavor to it. The plain is a little more grassy or natural flavor. Um, plain is by far our biggest seller, so I guess a lot of people like it. But I mix it with coconut milk, ramen milk. Don't mix it with water. Don't mix it with juices or anything. Some people like it with juices, but that's okay if you do. But I like coconut milk, ramen milk. I just think it tastes great. A little creamy. Shake it up. Drink it. It's awesome. If you're not doing that, you need to be. And they're on the website, drjoe.com. All right, so other things we need to do to take care of ourselves in the new year. And, of course, supplements is huge. And if you go to the website, we have all the supplements listed, and they say what they do. So you might say, well, gosh, Dr. Joe, I do have high blood pressure, which I'm going to cover next. What supplements would work well with, in conjunction with a good diet and chiropractic care to help my blood pressure? And if you read the website, you'd see nitric oxide would be a good choice. Nitric oxide opens up your blood vessels and helps reduce blood pressure. Uh, and it also increases circulation to things like your brain, your organs, your sex organs. Men, women, we need that as we get older. And so it's there. The explanations are there. If you have any questions, you can always send me questions through the website, drjoe.com. I'm happy to answer your questions um, pretty much about anything. So I'm, I'm more than happy to be there for you if you need me. But I do want to talk about blood pressure because so many people have blood pressure. The number one medication I see patients come in our office for is blood pressure medication by far. Cholesterol is number two, diabetes is number three. So people have high blood pressure. And many times, they, I, I, I talked about this the other day, they, they become a taint-nothing patient. Ah, taint-nothing. I've had high blood pressure. I don't have any symptoms. I don't care. That taint-nothing. That's a southern term. It is something. It's not nothing. Because high blood pressure can lead to increase your risk of heart disease, stroke, uh, blood vessel damage, uh, in, in speeding up the aging process. 116 million people in the U.S. alone, nearly half of all adults have high blood pressure. And it's uncontrolled in 46% of them. Half Americans have high blood pressure. A quarter of Americans, it's not controlled. That's very serious. 2017, I know it's a few years ago, American Heart Association, American College of Cardiology, along with nine other health organizations, changed the cutoff. It used to be 140 over 90 uh, to 130 over 80, and normal blood pressure now is 120 over 80. So if you're at 120 over 80, you're normal. If you're 130 over 80, you're considered high blood pressure. Okay? And that's really common to see people with 130 over 80. Slight shift. Increase the number of people diagnosed from 140 over 90 to high blood pressure to 130 over 80 being a, the cutoff for medication. Usually there's no warning signs or symptoms with high blood pressure. The only way to know is get it measured. So when we reduced it from 140 over 90 to 130 over 80, a lot more people fell into the high blood pressure category, didn't they? Yeah. What does that mean? A lot more people were on medication. A lot more. What does that mean? High blood pressure medication. If you need it, take it. Right up. Take it. High blood pressure medication has side effects. One of the side effects is erectile dysfunction. And if you listen to the radio, if you watch television, if you watch any sporting event, there's commercials everywhere. Men, you're going to perform like you were 19 again. Well, there's a side effect to that, too. And so we, did a sh we do a lot of work with men's health, of course, being a man. And there's certain protocols that we've put together to help tremendously with men. And one of the issues that happens with men, and I'll get back to blood pressure in a second. One of the issues that happens with men is that as we get older, our testosterone levels drop. Just raising testosterone is not a good idea. 
You have to find out why your testosterone levels are dropping. And what happens a lot with men of a certain age, like 50 and above, 40 and above sometimes, you're producing testosterone, but it's converting into estrogen. And there's a hormone called aromatase, or an enzyme, I'm sorry, that converts testosterone into estrogen. So there are certain things that can act as what's called an aromatase inhibitor. Now, there are drugs you can take for that. But there are certain things we can do to naturally prevent testosterone from converting into estrogen by blocking aromatase. And these are cruciferous vegetables, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, uh, kale. Now, we have the cruciferous vegetables in Dr. Joe's Essential Source. That's baseline. If you need more, I've put together actually a protocol of supplements for men. And, uh, and in the Dr. Joe line, it would be, of course, super greens and essential source. Nitric oxide is amazing because it opens up your blood vessels. And that's why if you have high blood pressure, nitric oxide is a no-brainer for you too. But the nitric oxide opens up the blood vessels, inc increasing circulation to everything, including the sex organs. I take estrogen regulator. Estrogen regulator helps prevent my testosterone from converting into estrogen. It's called diendol methane, okay? And you get that from cruciferous vegetables, but we've put it in a pill to make it easy for you. So super greens, essential source, nitric oxide, estrogen regulator, adrenal support, because the adrenal glands help produce hormones. And there's another supplement. It's from a company called Standard Process. It's called Tonkat Ali. Again, don't worry about the name. If you can't remember it, just send me an email through the website, drjoe.com, and I'll send you my protocol. And I get men on this supplement protocol and dietary changes, and we check their spine to make sure they don't have pinched nerves because the pinched nerves in the low back could control the sex organs. That protocol, those three things, seem to be working extremely well, not for everybody, but extremely well uh, in most cases without drugs, without surgery, without any invasion. Uh, so it's pretty cool, and it's way less expensive than you know, a lot of the other treatments that are out there. So, why, again, why wouldn't you do the most effective, least expensive treatment? I don't know. But we'd like to offer that to you. And if you want to make an appointment to come see us, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb, drjoe.com, D-R-J-O-E.com. We accept people with all insurances. It depends if your insurance covers us or not, but we accept you. Uh, if you're ever in a car accident, please come see us immediately. Don't waste even a week, a day, because the insurance companies jerk you around. That's, their whole goal is to not pay you. You think you have insurance to pay your bills? No, you have insurance. The insurance companies do everything they can to not pay you and keep your premiums. Now, there's certain laws they have to follow and they have to pay you at certain points, but they're going to throw up a lot of obstacles for you. If you're in an accident, you got to come see us or somebody qualified right away. There's a lot of scammers. Just this week, I had three people come in that went to the scam clinics. Uh, they got a call from the insurance company saying, go to this clinic, which is a scam. Uh, it's called Runners. They, and they get your name off the internet from your police report. And they went there, and one lady walked in. She goes, the place was dirty. It was dark. Light bulbs were broken. The toilet was d disgusting. And she said, I got treated for the first visit. They didn't even do anything to me. They just ran up, they ran up this huge couple of thousand dollar bill, and they said they didn't even touch me. She says, I'm not going back there anymore. So don't fall for the scammers is what I'm telling you. Come see us or somebody qualified, and we'd love to be your doctors. So – for men, we want to check the nerve supply to the sex organs. And women, we want to check the digestive system. We want to get you on supplements. We want to do everything we can to get things working naturally, getting to the cause of the problem. But I digress from blood pressure a few minutes ago. Slight shift meant a lot more people are taking it, and that means they're taking a lot more meds. And uncontrolled high blood pressure can lead to heart disease and stroke, kidney failure, heart failure. So high blood pressure puts an overload on your heart muscle, and that can actually result in heart failure and damaging the arterial supply that brings oxygen to the body, and that could lead to a potential heart attack. So high blood pressure is not something you want to jerk around with. It can damage the small arteries, especially in the sex organs for men and women, reduce the amount of oxygen delivered to the organs, such as the kidneys and the eyes. I have a lot of people with eye issues because they're not getting circulation up to their eyes. Over time, that can relieve, lead to kidney failure, vision loss. I've been in practice almost 39 years now. I guess I could say 39 years. And... I never, when I first started in practice, saw patients with kidney failure. I see it, I, gosh, almost every day now, people with kidney failure. And many times it's not, it's the later stages that they show up with because, again, not a lot of symptoms in the early stages. A lot of that has to do with too much protein, too much a acid animal products. Uh, acids like soda can do it too, and then high blood pressure. And so a lot of these things are avoidable. 
but you don't know to avoid them until they show up. So why don't we just assume that we're trying to avoid them? Listen to my show I did on high blood pressure. Go to my website, drjoe.com, and just type in high blood pressure. Listen to the show we did on high blood pressure. We cover a lot of things in there. Many times, high blood pressure is a neurological issue. I have patients come in, they're young, they're in good shape, they're thin. Why do they have high blood pressure? There's a, va- a nerve in your body called the vagus nerve, V-A-G-U-S, and it controls your digestive system. It also helps control some of your heart. So if you have digestive issues, heartburn, acid reflux, burping, gas, bloating, you may be irritating what's called the enteric nervous system, which then irritates the vagus nerve, which then sends messages over to the heart, and it makes the heart beat faster and harder. So in many cases over the years, we were able to fix somebody's digestive system. And in the process, we took the stress off the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve stops sending impulses over to the heart, and the blood pressure goes down. So many times, the blood pressure issue is physical, not chemical. It could be a pinched nerve in your neck. There's been studies showing that the atlas, the top bone in the neck coming out of place, can lead to high blood pressure, can affect high blood pressure. It could be your diet. We do dietary workshops on every one of our patients. I don't know any other health clinic that does that as as just standard operating procedure, nutrition evaluation on all their patients. And we do that just courtesy. It's part of your treatment plan. Supplement-wise, of course, nitric oxide works great to open up the blood vessels, but it's not going to treat the cause. It's just treating the symptoms. Sometimes you need to treat the symptoms and treat the cause at the same time. Of course, minimum supplements would be super greens and essential source. They're two powders. They taste great. Uh, mix them together if you have trouble with the flavor because some of you are so, your taste buds, I, I, I was out to lunch the other day with some, some women, and she said too, she goes, I'm a very picky eater. And she ordered rice and chicken kebab, and even that was a little much for her. And I thought, wow, I don't know how much more white bread you can get than what rice and chicken. And so sometimes your palate just uh, is so bored or so uh, unnerved that you put something new in the body, like a broccoli or something like that, it might be a little weird to you. So with the Super Greasy Essential Source, again, it tastes great. Try mixing a frozen banana. Whip that up. Frozen berries, strawberries, blueberries, uh, raspberries. Whip that up in there. Make a smoothie out of it. Once you start taking this stuff, after a couple of days, you start going, how did I live without this stuff? My God, it's amazing. So Super Greasy Essential Source on the website, drjoe.com. I do recommend you get the uh, mint Super Greens if you're okay with mint. It's the I think it's the best tasting one of them all. And I invented them all. So that's the one I like. So Super Green Central Source and Nitric Oxide. Listen to the show we did on high blood pressure. If you have digestive problems and you have high blood pressure, chances are the two are correlated. So come see us. In Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We'd love to be your doctor. Normally, the first and half of the second visit is $910. That's an exam, x-rays, consultation, first visit, going over the x-rays, complete nutrition evaluation. We've reduced that to $299 for my listeners. So that's a third of the cost. We've reduced it so that we can get you in to see if you have issues that we think we can help. After that first and second visit, uh, if you have insurance, it picks it up. We have cash plans available, car accidents, sports injuries. We want to be your doctors. We want to get you well and keep you well. So drjoe.com, we're happy to see you. Uh, We can probably set you up an appointment within 24 to 48 hours have any questions, call the office and through the website, we're happy to answer any questions for you. So we're talking about things you need to do, uh, healthy habits to start for the new year. Uh, getting that blood pressure under control is used. Of course, exercise works, uh, intermittent fasting. I talk about this a lot. I want you to not eat for 12 hours a day. So what you do is you stop. If you have dinner at 5 o'clock, don't have breakfast till 5 o'clock the next day. If you have dinner at 8 o'clock, don't have breakfast again till 8 o'clock the next day. Just 12 hours. In a day or two, you'll start to feel thinner. You'll start the poofiness goes away. The bloating goes away. You start to go to the bathroom better. Uh, you sleep better. Your love life improves. Uh, there's no downside to intermittent fasting 12 hours a day, except you might get a little hungry. And years ago, I was giving a lecture, and somebody worked with me. Her name was Sierra. She said to me at the, at the break, and I was on the radio, that's right, and at, at the commercial break, she said, you know, Dr. Joe, it's okay to be hungry. What a profound statement. It's okay to be hungry. It doesn't hurt you. You're not going to die from it, a little hunger for an hour or two. It's okay to be hungry, and you appreciate your food so much more. So I love when I get to intermittent fast, and I do it many times a week. I just feel so good. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm looking forward to the super greens, the essential source, first thing in the morning. I'm looking forward to a cup of tea. I'm looking forward to some fruit. 
and it changes everything. And especially if you're trying to diet um, and lose weight, intermittent fasting should be part of whatever your protocol is. What I, you know, I'm not a fan of keto. I'm not a fan of high protein or high fat diets. But if you're doing that, at least intermittent fast as well. So that's another way to get things controlled. Uh, foods that are known to help high blood pressure, arugula, high in nitrates, helps open up your, the precursor to nitrates, opens up your blood vessels, flax seeds, beets, celery, opens up the blood vessels, okay? Cooked tomatoes, opens up the blood vessels. So they're going to a more plant-based diet almost always controls the blood pressure, and I've been talking about plant-based diet for years. Uh, if you smoke, of course, stop. I don't think I need to tell you that. Now, if you don't know what to eat, go to my website, drjoe.com, and type the words, so what can I eat, in the search bar. And it's a whole hour of me talking about breakfast, lunches, dinners, snacks, parties, raising kids, stocking your pantry, unstocking your pantry. Real good source of information. In fact, the first book I ever wrote was called Eating Right for the Health of It. And the first half of the book tells you how to change your diet. And the second half of the book is all recipes. Because people say, Dr. Joe, I don't know what to eat. Here it is for you. I can't make this any easier for you. It's the most effective treatment for most health care problems. It's the least expensive, tastes good, chances are you're going to live a lot longer, house is cleaner, save money. I don't know how to make this any easier. We have health care plans. And the plan is to get the nervous system working, digestive system working, and your diet. Now, I'm not saying you don't need medicine, you don't need surgery, you don't need blood pressure medication. No, we need these things. We need drugs. We need surgery in our society. They're amazing. But I want you to take control of your own health, so hopefully you don't need them as much. So if you want to make an appointment, again, drjoe.com. We'd love to be your doctors. My website, drjoe.com, we have over 3,000 hours of podcasts. So all you have to do is type in the search bar what you're looking for, high blood pressure, diabetes, men's health, uh, whatever it is, digestive health. Uh, uh, gosh, I've done thousands, hundreds and hundreds of podcasts. Uh, all the information's there, and you can search it, listen to it. If you have questions, you can send me questions through the website, drjoe.com. Happy to answer your questions for you. Most important thing you could do, though, step one is make an appointment so we can evaluate your specific needs. In the Atlanta area, we have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. Supplement-wise, start out with Super Greens and Essential Source. They're on the website. They taste great. They're powders. Uh, I think you'll be very happy once you take them for a couple of days. And you'll say, wow. I really do feel better. I really have more energy because your body is most likely depleted in vital nutrients. And this is going to give you a concentrated source of really high, high quality nutrients. And once the body gets that, man, it's just, woohoo, starts working really well. So there's no reason not to do it. Now, if you're on blood thinners, I have a direction in there on what to do about that. You can still take it. There's just some directions in there. Uh, if you have normal or high blood pressure, nitric oxide, everyone, please, I'm begging you, take vitamin D. Uh, get your vitamin D levels tested, of course, next time you get your blood work done. But in the meantime, five drops of Dr. Joe's vitamin D should be fine for you. And vitamin D does so many different things for brain health to immunity to absorbing calcium. It's just incredible. It's, it's not even a vitamin. It's a hormone, actually. But I take five drops a day. Uh, again, that whole protocol is going to cost you very little money, way less than a cup of coffee every day. So I don't know why you wouldn't be doing at least that. Uh, if you're stressed out, if you drink a lot of coffee, if you're a student, if you have a stressful relationship, if you have a, well, we all have stressful lives. I take Dr. Joe's adrenal support as well because that helps control my cortisol levels. It helps produce my hormones. It helps reduce inflammation. It helps give me energy. And gosh, I, 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 I wish I could just sit down with every one of you and just say, folks, this is, this is it. Do it for 60 days. See what happens. Hey, it's my challenge to everybody. Do what I say for 60 days. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. So what? I lied to you. Ladies, I'm not the first man to lie to you. But if I'm right, which I am, you'll say, that's all it took. That's what it takes to get healthy. Yes. Now, you're still going to need your, if your oncology doctors and your orthopedist and your neurologist and your gynecologist and your dentist. And No, you're going to need them too, but this is you taking control of your own health so you don't need them as much. And when you go there, I hope they say, you know what? You're doing great. See you in a year. That's my goal. It's my goal for the whole world. I always said if the whole world just took super greens and essential source and did nothing else, I think that would be amazing. If everybody got chiropractic evaluations, that would be amazing. If I got their stomach checked to see if they're absorbing nutrients, and if they need to, we maybe adjust or pull the stomach away from the diaphragm. That would be amazing. If everybody just used iron skillets instead of uh, nonstick cookware, that would be – I mean, there's so many different things. 
that you can do. So you don't have to do them all, but the more you do, the better it's going to be. It's going to be a stacking effect. So, folks, I'm almost out of time. If you have any questions, send them to me through the website, drjoe.com. I'm happy to answer your questions. Follow us on social media, at Dr. Joe Esposito, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, we have hundreds, probably thousands of hours on YouTube. Um, we post every single day on social media. Sometimes it's a health tip. Sometimes it's a recipe. Sometimes I found this new restaurant I think is great. Sometimes it's discounts. So there's no reason not to follow us on social media. If you're a podcast junkie, just type in Dr. Joe for the health of it. Dr. Joe for the health of it. And we have hundreds of hours on your podcast service because we're very, we get thousands and thousands and thousands of hits every, every month on our podcast services. So you can do that as well. Uh, again, any questions, drjoe.com. We have offices in Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. We want to be your doctors. We want to get you well and keep you well. So if you're serious about wanting to get well, again, the first visit is down to $299, exam, x-rays, consultation, first treatment. The x-rays alone are going to cost you more than that anywhere else. So I want to be your doctor, drjoe.com. Hey, folks, thanks for tuning in. Tell your friends about the show. We'll catch you next week. All right. Any questions? If you have bad blood circulation, would you recommend nitric oxide to help that? That would help too, but you also want to come see us for that as well because it could be pinched nerves in the low back affecting the blood vessels as well. But yeah, bad circulation, nitric oxide, as long as your blood, fresh, blood pressure is normal or high. If it's low, don't take it. But come see us so we can get to the cause of that. That would be silly not to do that. Okay. That's it. Yep, that's all. That was easy. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Make sure you follow us on all social media platforms at Dr. Joe Esposito. And the most important thing you can do is make an appointment to come see us. I want to see each and every one of you soon. See you soon.